What's going on beautiful people? This is Jerry Travis Smith and today I'm going to talk to you about my need for more network attached storage. Now, for the past four years I've had a Synology DS216J NASH unit. It has two drive bays and it works great. I like Synology Disk Station and everything. No problems with that. But I need to be able to throw more disks in it rather than buying two identical really large disks to get a mirrored setup. So I thought why not use some parts I had laying around, combine that with some really good deals I got on Amazon Prime Day, and throw in three used enterprise hard drives that I got on eBay. Now I know what you're thinking, I'm thinking the same thing too. Used hard drives from eBay? Eh. Never quite done that before, but I was willing to give it a shot because the barrier to entry is pretty low. I'm pretty tired of waiting around. I want to look at these parts and let's put this Unraid server together. Here are all the parts, except the hard drives. You'll see those a bit later. But we're starting off with a case, a motherboard, and a processor that I've had for years. The case is a cheap thermal take with a bunch of drive bays in it, and you'll see that in a minute as well. The motherboard is a Asus Z170A. The processor I picked up at Micro Center in Cincinnati because we all know Micro Center has crazy deals on processors. If memory serves me correct, I paid maybe $46 for it. It was really meant for very light desktop usage. It's a G4560 in a socket LGA1151 with only two cores and four threads. But for what I'm going to be doing with the Sunraid server, that's more than enough, and it's pretty energy efficient with a TDP of 54 watts. For Amazon Prime Day, I was able to pick up two 8 gigabyte sticks of 2666 DDR4 from Crucial. I honestly would have bought more, but they had a limit of two per customer. And it was only $46, I think. It's very basic RAM, but that's more than enough for running Dockers and VMs as I plan to. Also on Prime Day, for only 30 bucks, I was able to get this 256 gigabyte Inland SSD. That is the Micro Center brand, but they must sell it on Amazon as well. I've used plenty of their products, and I've never had any issues. Honestly, I think it's a rebranded SanDisk. I'll be using it as the cache drive for the Unraid server. Finally, for 50 bucks. I got this 500 watt Thermaltake power supply and I'll talk more about this a little bit later in the video. Now here is the most important piece of this Unraid server. And I went on eBay and I got three used 4 terabyte Enterprise um, hard disk drives. Now I have never ever ever used a used hard disk drive in anything new that I put together and I consider the Sunraid server new um, but I figured that since these things the data sheet has a 2 million hour mean time between failure because it's the HGST um, 72k or 75k series or something so let's see what we got which I think 2 million hours mean time between failure is ridiculous but, I mean, that's what they say, so. And we're going to check out and see how many hours of use these have on them once we get them installed. The listing didn't say. I think it was a hard drive recycler. So, looks like they shipped them nicely. So, there you go. HGST. There you go. I've already got the case stripped down with all the side panels took off and the front panel so that I can cable manage later. But what I'm going to start with is putting in the RAM. And I'm going with 16 gigs of this crucial basic memory that I got on Amazon Prime Day. 16 gigs seems like a bit overkill, but I plan on running some dockers on this and doing some transcoding with handbrake so uh, i can always roll back to eight and put this in something else if it's too much
This power supply is 80 plus watt, which is the lowest one, I think. It meets the specs for the original 80 plus before they had the colors. But who cares? I think it's a pretty solid power supply. Thermal Tech does an okay job, and I got a pretty decent deal on it. I am not a fan of used power supplies because you don't know how hard they've been pushed. And 550 watts is a bit of overkill for this system, but I like to have more overhead than I need just in case we add more drives or something in the future. The power supply feels solid enough. It is not modular as best I know, and that's okay. Or maybe it is. Nope, that's just the power cord. Uh, you can look down in there. It's got some pretty good sized chokes. So I think we'll be fine. This case is incredibly basic. So there's no basement or anything for the power supply. But And we have plenty of cables to power what we need to power. So I'm happy. We'll cable manage this later. Once we get everything in. For those of you that can't stand when the screws don't match the case, well, I had to use silver screws to put in the power supply. The screws that came with this case are long gone, and my big stash of screws that has everything that you could ever want, black, silver, there's even some blue ones in there I think, is at the other house. And I'm not going to delay this build just to have black screws. So, sorry guys. It is what it is. Well, that didn't go too bad. Before I put any hard drives in it, I'm going to go ahead and fire it up and test it, but I'll do that off camera. All right, so I've got the first hard drive in the little plastic caddy. All right, there we go. Now let's get the others in. One thing I like about this case, even though it was very cheap when I bought it new years ago, is that it does have all of these special places right here just for SSDs. So that just seems to work out kind of nice. Well, getting the power cables run wasn't too bad. There's two really long leads with three SATA power connectors each on this power supply. So this drive, this drive, and the cache drive, so the top three drives, all went on the same line. And then this guy on the bottom got his own. And these are long enough so that if I do need some SATA power inside the case, I should be able to hook into it um, back in there. So that's, that's pretty handy. Now the part I really dread is running the SATA cables, so let's see if we can't do that. Well, there it is with all the SATA cables and power cables in the back, where the drives are. These are right angle cables, thankfully. And then this cable was already in the case, so I just ended up using it. Unfortunately, the front of the case, or the front of the motherboard, is not nearly as uh, tucked away as the stuff in the back, but I've got it all bundled up right here and lashed to the drive cage, so it's not going anywhere. And those SATA cables, I will tidy those up a little bit. Now the last thing i got to do is put the front panel fans on and put the front on, and then we'll button it up and install Unread. 
Well, I've got it booted up and everything's formatting. It says the array has started, so I guess the formatting is finished. Now we're doing parity sync, so I think that takes a while, but uh, so far so good. I decided to name it Milton. I think that fits. So it's been about a week and a half since I finished setting up Milton. I haven't had a lot of time to play with him or anything, but it's worked well for what I've done with it. And you can see the parity's done. Everybody's happy and healthy. These temps are really good on these used drives. Here's the SSD cache drive. And I'm using very, very little RAM. So uh, you can see that that's crazy overkill. Uh, <laughs> I may actually take some of it out and put it somewhere else. But one of the only things I've managed to do with this is set up something called Sync Thing. And I've got it set up as a Docker. And basically, you run a daemon on both machines. Okay, this is uh, Milton we're looking at in the GUI. And he is currently syncing up uh, the main video projects Sync Thing share that I made. And. Uh, getting everything copied over. I think at the moment he is probably just going through and seeing what all has changed. And this is kind of meta because a lot of the very video that you're watching is currently being backed up and copied over. Not all of it because clearly we're recording this, but it will at some point. So uh, sync thing is pretty neat. Uh, I may do a more in-depth video on this in the future. So you can see here, everything's up to date because these sync thing files are actually on this machine. This is my local machine that I'm looking at right now. And this is the state of all of those shared folders on Milton. So it has to sync. Okay. So, yeah, I haven't had a chance to do a lot with it, but I really like Unraid so far. And it doesn't really require a whole lot of babysitting I would recommend you go check out Space Invader 1's channel he must be like the world renowned expert in Unraid it's pretty amazing all the stuff that guy can show you how to do so until next time that'll wrap this video up I may do a follow up video to give you my long term impressions of Unraid but so far it's pretty awesome for about $300 in new parts and combining it with some junk I already had laying around that wasn't doing anything this beats the pants off of any kind of Synology that I could have built so pretty happy if you like this video please give it a like and subscribe if you want to be notified whenever I post something else I hope you find this helpful and have a great day